everyone and welcome back to my channel. I just woke up from a 5 hour nap after doing a London flight but I had to make this video in this condition because I received a question from you guys and I resonate with that so much because I felt like that at times. So this person obviously I'm keeping her anonymous but she uh, is 18 okay and it's a long question like I'm scrolling the question right now it's a long question but her basic thing is that she feels like sometimes she comes off as being or as she says sometimes she feels stupid in very basic things and she tends to behave quite irrationally and in certain situations she lacks that sharp mind or the alertness and she comes off as being like somebody that can be manipulated easily right so basically she wants to come off as being smart now first of all she's 18 right I started working at 18 19 you can say let's say I started working at 19 so I was with older people at 19 and I was supposed to be taken seriously at 19 but you're just a child now as for the scientific fact you your brain stops developing at 25 so you're literally still developing at 18 19 so you can't be expected to come off as being so intelligent and whatever right but she says some people do it reflects in the way she says they conduct themselves they behave it reflects in that and she feels sometimes while talking to people you're in a rush or whatever and she comes off as being somebody who like doesn't think good and then she regrets like why did I say that okay now again I've been through this since I was working young right the number one way to avoid this and this is this sounds very simple but it's not and you would think that you would do this but we don't think before you speak mind-blowing information you guys have followed me throughout the years you know how fast I talk I can't be thinking before I speak right there's no like nothing it's just straight here it just goes like that doesn't process no no so during lockdowns I started to like I did a lot to improve myself during lockdowns right because I had a lot of time on my hands my job was nowhere to be found so I started to think before I speak and even now I would like to think a bit more before I speak but trust me it makes so much of a difference so whatever someone's saying you feel the urge of saying something pause and in your head you might think that oh my god this sounds like I'm taking so long to reply trust me nobody thinks that you're so used to just saying whatever comes to your head that you feel like it's gonna be a long pause but no take a pause and make yourself worthy of the other person's attention we think like oh let me just finish this conversation fast maybe they don't have time oh let me just make my point no they will wait for you to form your thought so form the thought then bring it out and trust me you won't say half the things that you want to say for me the current thing that I'm working on is talking less in real life I would like to re reveal less of myself in front of people so I'm working on that right now my god I wish I put some makeup I'm so sorry guys speak uh, now number two um, as an 18 year old you might think that you want to fit in amongst the older people now older people are gonna be wise because they are because they have those years, those years on them, right? The, the years of uh, knowledge that they've gained and you don't and that's okay. These are your years to make mistakes because this girl says she earns a living. She's a crew. She earns a living for her family. So that way you are older. So again, she's in that older uh, professional environment, but mentally you're not there, right? As I've seen, are you one of them? A lot of the people will not reveal anything about themselves. Anything at all, they won't. Sometimes it comes off as being uh, very rude as well, especially in the crew industry. But a lot of the times, if you don't give yourself away, people respect you for some reason or they're scared of you because people are scared of the unknown. So they don't know you, right? So they will kind of take you seriously. But then again, in this job, it becomes a bit rude. For a customer service job you need to be extroverted outgoing at least act like it right so like for me I would really give a lot of myself away and back in my last airline they would say that oh you're young but I'm gonna take it as a compliment um, but I think holding back information don't just reveal everything about yourself especially your personal life like even though I do talk I will keep things to myself which I don't want to share but like some people will just not share what Netflix series they are watching or if they went out the last weekend or where they went with their friends some people just don't share that information which I think is unnecessary like so you want both of us to be sitting here in silence instead of sharing that that's not very 
private information you can just share that to make conversations so those kind of people i don't understand uh, but sometimes it is a thing that we don't uh, have time and you just talk to some people cut yourself some slack maybe like it's okay sometimes let me give you an uh, an example uh, so i came to this airline right and i i think i'm good with geography and stuff like that culture i have an interest but of course you can't know everything nobody knows everything right so you're bound to make mistakes i was talking to this japanese colleague on and on asking about her culture and everything and talking to her about how uh, in india in the late 90s early 2000s jackie chan movies were such a hit we love jackie chan he's so funny i really admire him and all his movies and they were so good and everything right and how much we love japanese actors and the crew tells me but jackie chan is chinese right i wanted the plane door to open and for me to be sucked out at that moment i it was so embarrassing this girl this poor girl would be thinking why is she going on and on about this chinese actor to me maybe she doesn't even know who he is or she's not much of a fan but she's like going from japan japanese culture to jackie chan what's happening or she was waiting for me waiting for me to come to that point where she can prove how dumb i am that was so bad similar thing happened when um i was going to amsterdam and i asked a male colleague that something they were talking about holland and netherlands or something i was like yeah how far is holland from amsterdam like i knew amsterdam is in netherlands so i was like how far is holland from amsterdam or netherlands and he's like Holland and Netherlands is the same thing. Oh, right. Again, can the door open and I be sucked out, please? Only me, only me, because I want to be removed from this situation. It was so embarrassing, but then again, it happens with everyone, and you can't know everything. So these are the humbling moments where, you're like, oh, okay, maybe I should. Like these moments inspired me to look more into the geography, detailed geography of the world, or at least the places I'm going to, so I don't look so dumb. So I think educating yourself will also help in this. case like she says that she sees some people they come off as so wise and intelligent and well read well you need to be that to come off like that right you can't think that i'm not going to read i'm not going to learn anything about the world and i should just come off as being wise what are the tips and tricks and i know there are a million videos on the internet about that but guys you will not come off as being all of those things without being all of those things so maybe just read up maybe read the news once in a while or see what's happening in the world or whatever is your interest or with your job with cabin crew it's geography get into geography whichever place you're going to read a bit about them what what what's the news what's happening in that state in that country uh some things about the cultures like every time you go into that place you can use that as a way to learn more about it so you don't have to really cram up all this information but read a little bit every time you're going there or every time you're meeting a person and you know they are, their job is engineering or they work in marketing or whatever maybe read up about that what's happening in this world so not only do you have topics for conversations but you learn something about it so i think the main thing is if you want to come off like that you need to be that i say and uh, a lot of people in real life say that wow it, you can tell that like your vocabulary is good because you read books and my vocabulary is pretty average i think um again during lockdown i tried my best to improve my vocabulary because i know a lot of words but i don't use them in everyday life because i believe it's not just i believe communication does not mean you say all these big words but the person you're talking to can't understand you that's a failed communication communication is when a message is transferred from point a to b right so using big words but your point b is not getting that that's a failed communication right so i'm not saying ah oh, people around me are so dumb i can't use these words no 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 but like i never thought of it like that so i thought i could use a few sophisticated words which everybody would understand but i am at least using my vocabulary and in turn coming off as being more wise and in that sense you yourself feel wise you're like oh I don't know you're using the information that's here makes you feel better. I don't know. I really like that and I enjoy talking like that. Um also slowing the way you talk. I'm really consciously nowadays trying to as I said think before I speak. That uh slows my speed and generally also pronouncing my words properly, trying to use vocabulary, right? So I have to think before I speak even more and I don't know if you guys can tell I'm trying my best to slow down my speed because I feel like Again if you see people that are like in positions of power or whatever they take their time to speak because they know people will be listening to them 
they know that you'll wait for me to finish so maybe try that uh, but yeah these are all of my tips I'm not saying I am in a position where I come off as being so wise I'm giving you these tips no but since this person asked me specifically and I told her typing it will not do it justice I need to make a video about this so there you go I'm doing it but um, I hope this helped her especially I hope this helped you the person who asked the question and someone else uh, who must have been like her or like me at 18 wondering how to come off as being wise uh, you can't come off as being wise without being them uh, do give it time uh, but yeah don't come off as being very um, obnoxious and a hole e uh, because I have seen a lot of young people who learn a lot and then they kind of show off that information and that's very very unattractive that does the opposite and maybe puts off people from you so don't just show off be humble and whenever there's a chance to uh, reveal your intelligence it will show up the, those opportunities will show up but just learn learn and be open to learning in life I'm not saying learn about math son. learning is learning you're interested in skincare learn about skincare makeup that's also knowledge right that is fashion that's knowledge a normal boy won't know that a square neckline means the early 2000s and a round neckline means not they don't know that I'm not saying stereotyping boys but like you know so don't let them tell you the only science and maths is knowledge knowledge is knowledge and knowledge is power so be open to learning learn something new every day if you would like to learn make sure to follow me on this channel and my vlog channel about travel you can follow me on my Instagram for some quick learning tidbits here and there whenever I find any and I will see you in my next video if you have any such questions make sure to DM me on Instagram I'm gonna make a video about these I loved I used to do these a lot back then so I'm gonna get back to doing this leave your questions in the comments anything you want me to talk about and I will see you in my next video bye bye take care guys